New Orleans won the toss. They've elected to defer. So the Saints will get week 15 of the NFL season underway. Hartley with an end over end kick taken by Danielle Manning of the Bears. Manning with a crease. Manning is going. Danielle Manning. 83 yards and what a start for Chicago. No flags on the play. And Danielle Manning has become the first Bear since 1972 to return a kickoff for a touchdown on the opening kickoff. And how bizarre is it that it's not Devin Hester? Devin Hester, who had become such a sensation in this league over the past couple of years, 11 returns, both kickoff returns and punts, and yet Danielle Manning has taken his job this season, and now you see why. That was a great play, especially to start off the game like that, you know. Um, Danielle has a great run, you know, a great speed, you know. He hit it hard, hit it up in there, you know, and was out the daylight. We talk about getting, you know, starting fast, and we've done that most of the time this year, but that was, uh, you know, really big for our team to give us a boost, get us momentum right away with Danielle's return. I was just excited. I don't know what was going through. You know, I saw the I saw the wide open lane, end zone, and I just knew I was going in the moment. What, what did Lovey say to you about that? I would just shook hands, looked in the eye, winked at me, and that was it. Really, if it was flag football, he scores. And and so uh, the ball's fielded at the 17-yard line, and three steps later, we've got maybe two players in a position that can make a play on the ball, and, and uh, we get out flank. Well, Drew Brees starting at quarterback, leads the NFL with 4,100 yards passing this season. Reggie Bush averaging 3.7 yards a rush on the year for the New Orleans Saints. Marcus Colston with just one touchdown catch this season. He's battled injury. Jeremy Shockey, 44 catches this year, and Zach Streif will start at left tackle for the injured Jamal Brown. That's a matchup we'll keep our eye on throughout the course of the evening going against Alex Brown of the Bears. Yeah, we're sorry we couldn't give you a little more exciting start to this game. <laughs> that was something. Ball is spotted at the 17. It was a fair catch signal call by New Orleans. And that's why they'll start at their own 17-yard line. Pierre Thomas gets a couple as we take a look at the Bears defense out of Wally Agunlier with five sacks on the season. Tommy Harris and Anthony Adams in the middle. Alex Brown with 30 tackles on the year. Lance Briggs and Brian Erlach are the linebackers, as well as Nick Roach, a second-year man out of Northwestern. Corey Graham starting with the injury to Nathan Basher, Mike Brown, and Kevin Payne are the safeties for Chicago. After a gain of one for Thomas, second and nine for New Orleans. Breeze has Colston, and Colston near the first down mark, tripped up by Briggs and Payne. It looks like he has enough for the first down. Well, one of the things you're going to see consistently out of the Chicago Bears is a lot of blitzing here tonight, and I think Drew Brees is the kind of guy that could take full advantage of that. That time he saw the linebackers coming on a blitz and just simply hit Colston on a little hot route. And when you look at the numbers, though, for the Chicago Bears, they send a lot of people a lot of the time. And, but for the Saints, instead of trying to hang in there and block them, they're just going to put the ball in the hands of Drew Brees, spread it all out, and try and hit some quick passes. Jeremy Shockey in motion. Toss it to the outside of the Chicago native, Pierre Thomas. Fights his way across the 35 to about the 37 near a first down. Yeah, Bob, how about the uh, year that Pierre Thomas is having and the game that he had last season against the Chicago Bears? In that game, the season finale, 105 yards rushing, 121 yards receiving. The only back in the history of the NFL against the Chicago Bears to have 100 yards receiving, 100 yards in rushing in the history of the game against this franchise. Pierre Thomas is the guy that did it. Thomas likes coming home. Reggie Bush on a slip screen gets a block. Bush in space slips and dies to midfield, but he picks up about 13 and a first down. Well, this is what you're going to get out of Reggie Bush. He's not really a pure running back. He's sort of a receiver running back. Remember, Marshall Falk used to come out and flank himself out wide, try to get the ball in his hands. And one of the things they've done here in Chicago is they've resotted the field between the numbers, but outside the numbers, it's still slippery. And you could see Reggie Bush slipping just a little bit there on the outside. 
Bush got a nice block from Jari Evans on Brian Erlacher. First and ten. Thomas dives to about the 44 yard line. Picks up four and a half. Charles Tillman on the tackle for Chicago. Meacham was the motion man as Breeze will throw. Feels pressure. Sack. Alex Brown. His sixth of the season. There's a flag on the play in the secondary, though. So hold everything. Mike Carey is out. Defense number 21. Wow. That's Corey Graham playing for the injured Nathan Basher, who's on injured reserve. And that's an automatic first down. Talk about a momentum switch there. Corey Graham's going to be covering in the slot against Billy Miller down the field, and you can see him just sort of grabbing and pulling. And but by that time, Drew Brees was on his back. Brees under some pressure, and it's intercepted by Mike Brown. The veteran safety out of Nebraska has the turnover. And he takes it up to the 39. Another flag, though, back at the 15-yard line. Was the contact early? The back judge threw the flag. The ruling on the field is an interception down by contact. First down. Well, Mike Brown right back here is just going to sit and wait. They have a blitz look coming from the Chicago Bears, but really it's just a zone defense. You'll see the three deep drop, not man coverage at all. Mike Brown just simply reading the eyes of Drew Brees, jump the route, first turnover. Adrian Peterson in a tailback in the eye. Hester split to the top of your screen. Orton on a play fake to throw. Looking for Devin Hester. Devin Hester can't reach out and get it. He had a step on Randall Gay and then some. Well, that's about as sophisticated a route as I've seen out of Devin Hester. He's going to go post, corner, post. On the outside, gets Randall Gay all turned around and then turns it on with that great speed, and Kyle Orton just missed him. And this is a team, the Chicago Bears, that has really struggled on their down the field throws. They're pretty good with the shorter, quicker throws, but down the field, they have not been good. Bears starting from inside their own 10 after an illegal block by Kellen Davis. Here's Peterson bursting through the middle and right near the first down marker. Third and inches. Orton will keep it. Orton has a first down for Chicago. Orton to throw on first and ten. Orton to the sideline to Brandon Lloyd. He makes a gorgeous catch for a first down. Well, that's certainly good news for the Chicago Bears that their receivers are starting to make some plays. Brandon Lloyd missed five games this season with a knee injury, and he had a bunch of catches early on, but just six catches since that knee injury, so it's good to have him back and play again. So third and 14 for Chicago. Five minutes to go in the first. Little screen for Peterson. Peterson hit by Harper and dropped short of the sticks at the 40 yard line. Reggie Bush across the 40 to the 43 yard line. Bush picks up 13 on the carry. First down New Orleans. And Reggie Bush last week ripped one off for about 42, 43 yards. I think it was his first 30-yard run of his career. And if you watched him at all in college at USC, you would have thought he would have had three or four every single game. But it was a good-looking effort last week by Reggie Bush in that one. 80 yards rushing on just 10 drives. 83 yards, little screen for Pierre Thomas, gets a good block into Bear territory, and he has a first down to the 44-yard line, gain of 12. Well, we've talked about the fact that Zach Streep is over on the left side. We're seeing the Bears attack a lot on this side to try and take advantage of it. So what do they do? Simply go screen away and pick up a big play. Look at all the blitzers on the right side. Drew Brees knows it, dumps it off. Big play for the Saints. 
So first and ten for New Orleans. Their first drive stalled when Drees was picked off. Toss for Bush. Reggie gets the edge and then dragged down from behind at the 41 lot yard line by Israel Adonage. Once again, going to come across with Billy Miller to help on the tight end position, but big Zach Streep, who's not really known for his athleticism, gets out there on Charles Tillman, and that's a nice block. They think he can play. There's Billy Miller, who had a good block as well, but Zach Streep, they made no apologies for him. He said, listen, we know Jamal Brown. He's a pole bowler, but Streep is ready. Trust me, he will not embarrass himself out there. Second and six. Bush. Try to make that next cut and could not. Erlacher fell on his back at the 38 yard line. Bush in motion. Breeze with time. Beautiful play by Corey Graham. On a pass intended for Colston. Reggie Bush gets a seam, bounces. Up to the 30 yard line before Mike Brown made the tackle. Big third and three here for New Orleans. Breeze completes it, and they've got a first down with Lance Moore. Second and 10. Bush under pressure, sack. Alex Brown gets the sack. Well, we've been talking about it, and Zach Streep playing left tackle, trying to work against Alex Brown, and Alex Brown has one of the better bull rush moves in the league. May not go around you all the time, but if you allow him to set you up for that inside move, he's going to wear you out already. It's got to be getting in the back of Drew Brees' mind. He's had such great protection all year, but it's beginning to look more and more like this is going to be a liability on the left side. Sixth sack for Brown. His earlier sack was negated because of a defensive holding penalty. Third and 16 for Breeze. By some time, he's got Colston for a first down into Bear territory and tackled at the 46-yard line by Corey Graham. Huge conversion and a gain of 22. Well, that time they changed up protections a little bit. Jari Evans, the right guard right here, is going to pull out, and he's going to make the block on the outside so they're trying to take a little bit of pressure here off of Zach Streep and it worked that time Drew Brees had more time than he's had so far in this ball game and it paid off big 24 on a third and 16 so again New Orleans in plus territory they turned it over once Brees steps up by some time under pressure nearly intercepted by Brown on the pass intended for Shockey. Mike Brown nearly had a second pick of the first half. You know, Mike Brown's not as young as he used to be, but he still knows what's happening down there, and he sort of set up Drew Brees on that one. He saw Shockey all the way, and Shockey didn't do much to come back to his quarterback there. You're always taught as a receiver you have to keep coming back to the quarterback. And he almost handed Mike Brown an interception by not doing it. Breeze 5 of 14 for 64 yards and a pick. More in motion. More in space. More inside the 40. And knocked down at about the 39 yard line by Brian Erlach. The 27th play run by the Saints here in the first half. Breeze for Colston. Some contact downfield. No flag as he and Manning got tied up. This one high. Hester lets it bounce over his head, and it is saved by New Orleans in the field of play. Bears pinned at their own one to start this drive. And Orton fumbled the snap. New Orleans wow. says they have it, and they do. A bad exchange with Olin Cruz and recovered by Jonathan Vilma. It almost looked like Olin Krutz 
snapped it before anybody else was ready for the ball to be snapped. You could see the rest of the offensive linemen didn't move at all. Kyle Orton wasn't expecting it. He dropped the ball. There's no illegal procedure, none of that stuff, because only the center moved. He snapped the ball. What an unbelievable break for the New Orleans Saints. What happened on the box? Just lack of communication between Olin and myself. Uh, in the end, uh, when the ball comes up, I got to catch it, and, and uh, just didn't happen. Three tight end set. First and goal. They give it to the fullback, Carney, and he gets nothing. Anthony Adams grabbed him first below the pile. Second and goal. Thomas in the flat. Thomas, touchdown, New Orleans. Danielle Manning got the Bears on the board, returning the opening kickoff, 83 yards for a score. Pierre Thomas has just tied it up with a two-yard touchdown catch. Hartley with the kickoff. Manning from his own seven. Manning finds a crease. Manning has some room. Manning to midfield. And finally collared and dropped at the New Orleans 41-yard line. Jolon Dunbar slowed him down. 52 yards on the return. I mean, what are the odds that Devin Hester would lose his return job on kickoffs to anybody, much less Danielle Manning. And here is Danielle Manning came into the game third in kickoff returns. And you've got to think he may be first by the time he gets finished here tonight. What a night he's having. So great field position for the Chicago Bears trying to answer the New Orleans score. Forte back in a tailback. Forte with the carry gets a couple. Orton under pressure avoids the sack, shovels it off to Forte, but they're going to lose yardage on the play. Bobby McCray with the pressure. Yeah, one of the problems that Kyle Orton has, and you can see that heavily taped right ankle, is he just cannot escape in the pocket. He, when he ran on the field tonight, I mean, he was clearly still limping. It's been about a month that that injury has taken place, and here he is out here, and anytime he gets under pressure, he has a really difficult time escaping and buying a second chance. Drew Brees, on the other hand, that's one of his great skills. Vilma nearly had the sack. Third and 13. Orton looking for Hester on the deep ball, and he can't make the catch, but flags everywhere as Jason David committed the penalty. It'll be first and goal at the one for Chicago. Pass interference, DT442. In the spot of the foul, automatic. First and well, Jason David was lucky the first time, not so lucky here. He is no match for Devin Hester in any way, shape, or form. You just see the speed, and then Jason David's going to grab the left arm. Easy call for the officials. Watch him reach out, just grab that left arm. No way to make the catch, and it has been a bit of a nightmare. Jason David's been playing a little bit better this season, but you remember last year when he came over from the Colts, Boy, it was not good. So many guys in the secondary out. Three cornerbacks on this team on IR. They spot the ball at the five, although it looked like the penalty was inside the five. So first and goal for Chicago. Orton on the slant to Desmond Clark, and he takes a big shot at the one by Scott Fujita. Now that was big guys on big guys on the outside. It was... Scott Vegeta, Scott Shanley out there against Desmond Clark, and you don't often see big tight ends running slants, but that's a big collision, really, with the Chicago Bears. The two tight ends, both over 30 catches, such a key part of the offense. Chris Williams comes in as a tackle eligible, second and goal. Forte walks in, touchdown Chicago. Just like that, the Bears are back on top. All set up by the Danielle Manning kickoff return and then the penalty. Seventh rushing touchdown for Forte on the season.
First and ten for the Saints. Thomas hit at the point of attack by Adewale Agunlie. No gain on the play. Reggie Bush to the outside. Bush shoved out by Kevin Payne, the safety at the 35 yard line. Gain of four. I'm not sure what happened to Reggie, but he looks like he's limping a little bit. And honestly, if he just put his shoulder down and tried to get the extra couple yards, maybe he wouldn't have been hurt on this play. Let's see if we can pick up what it may have been. He makes a move and heads for the sideline. And Kevin Payne says, thank you very much. I, I'm not much for that, not for a running back. If you're a quarterback, OK. Your running back, those extra couple of yards make a huge difference. Same thing happened late in the game last week against Atlanta where he could have gotten a first down but tried the hand to hand and it didn't work third and six for Breeze. But Donage trips him up but he flips it to Bush and he will not get the first down as a cleans it up. It's a gain of a yard. First and ten for Chicago Orton nearly picked off by Vilma. And then Davis nearly caught it. That was one that Vilma should have made. Wow, that was almost another hand delivered touchdown right there. If Vilma makes this catch, Jason Davis going to come out and not get his head around very quickly. And Vilma, man, you can't hand deliver it any better than that. And then you can see, unless Kyle Horton caught him with that bad ankle, that was going to be a touchdown. Looking at that left knee of Reggie Bush. Put a little brace on it. He did not have that when they were looking at him. Forte, who got shaken up on his first carry of the game, takes it out to the 32 yard line. Orton out of the gun. Has some time, completes it to Lloyd. First down to the 40 yard line. Did he make the catch though? New Orleans says he bobbled it. Juggling it. Knees. Ball. Chris. Ooh, I think that's going to be Sean Payton has thrown the flag. Sean Payton has thrown the challenge flag. After review, the receiver did not have control when the ball hit the ground. Incomplete pass. Fourth down and five. Chicago's 32 yard line on the far hash mark. Please put 450 on the game clock. 450 on the game clock. New Orleans will not be charged with a team timeout. Toss play to Thomas. Thomas slithers up to about the 12. Adonage tripped him up. See the numbers between home and the road. Third and 17. Breeze completes it. Moore makes the catch, but it hit the ground. He had enough for the first down, but it hit the ground. So two false start penalties. And the Saints will have to punt. Really, this one's on Drew Brees. He had Lance Moore open, stepped up in the pocket. The protection's good. You can't blame anybody for that. He just one hopped it. Hester split to the bottom of your screen. Orton on first down. He's got the tight end Clark. Fujita on the tackle. Short gain on the play. With three minutes to go here in the first half. on the catch first down at the 30. One quick cut and Devin Hester gets open. Well then when you play off of Devin Hester you don't want to let him run by you again if you're Jason David so you basically give him that first down and it's really interesting to watch Devin Hester you know the return guy and then they let Bernard Varian go to the Minnesota Vikings and so he is their a receiver. He now is the guy that is the deep threat and has to keep them out of all those one on one kind of coverage is on the outside and he's growing into that role. Forte middle of the field grabbed by Vilma but not after a gain of nearly nine. Six 
Second and two. Orton as his fullback, Jason Davis, plowing his way inside the 10. So they spotted at the 15, first and goal. Orton, Forte, makes a man miss at the 10 and gets knocked down at the 5. Shanley missed the tackle at the 10. Second and goal. Orton to the end zone. Knocked out of the hands of Clark by Josh Bullock. Saved a touchdown. That was just a stone cold drop of an easy pass. That one didn't even have any velocity on it. If he catches that cleanly, the hit by Bullock's not going to do anything to him. He just completely dropped it. Did he peek a little bit at Bullock's coming at him? Yeah, you never know. <laughs> Some, I mean, sometimes. When they're that easy, you tend to relax on it a little bit, and uh, he's not going to have an easier touchdown opportunity than that one. So third and goal for Chicago. From the six, Orton has a running lane. Orton inside the five, dives, touchdown, Chicago. What a drive by Kyle Orton, and he caps it off with his second rushing touchdown of the season. Bad ankle and all. All the coverage went to the trips formation off to the right, and as the linebackers tried to run underneath the play, there was simply nobody left for Kyle Orton. Looked a little like Joe Namath limping into the end zone there, but got it done. Well, Owen stole him all my glamour. I was ready to, to hit a big spike. You know, I don't get in there very often, and he came out and knocked the ball out of my hands. But, no, it just kind of the play broke down. There wasn't a whole lot there. Play broke down and kind of just pumped it over to – pump faked it to Matt Forte over there, and the guy just settled his feet enough, and I was able to dive. Pierre Thomas bounces his way to the 33-yard line, picks up a couple, and – Drew Brees was at Purdue first, 1997 to 2000, quarterbacking Joe Tiller's squad. And then Kyle Orton came along. Kyle nearly didn't go, though, to Purdue, did he? Yeah, he almost switched and uh, was thinking about going to Colorado, and Drew Brees called him and talked him back home again, and then uh, Orton almost broke some of Drew Brees' records there. Thomas on the carry up to the 37-yard line. Breeze from the gun, under pressure, buys some time, gets the first down to Lance Moore. Big conversion to the 43. And that's Drew Breeze at his best, isn't it? Yep, and we've shown the worst of Zach Streep. Let's show some of the good stuff. This time he got his hands on Alex Brown, and Alex Brown unable to do it. Drew Brees, one of the few quarterbacks that when he gets under some pressure, likes to move left instead of right. I don't know many right-handed quarterbacks that do that, but Drew Brees has a lot of success there, and Zach Streif had success on that one as well. Big conversion for New Orleans. Thomas finds his way through a tackle and takes it up to the 48-yard line. Gets a nice gain on the play. Erlacher missed the initial tackle. Play clock at three as Breeze takes the snap under pressure over the middle, completes it for the first down. Jeremy Shockey with his first catch of the ball game, his 45th of the season. And Sean Payton was telling us that Jeremy's getting more comfortable with what is expected out of him in this offense. Yeah, a little stunt inside that time by the Bears. Adewale Agunle coming on a loop back to the inside, just didn't quite get there. The Saints pick it up, and Shockey with a big play. Gain of 11 on third and five. First and 10 for New Orleans. Opening drive of the third. The play fake for Breeze. Oh, he's got more open deep. He throws it down to Miller instead. And Miller takes it inside the 20 to the 19-yard line. Lance Briggs on the tackle. A <laughs> true Breeze that time did a number on Lance Briggs. He fell back underneath the bootleg pass has it covered perfectly against Billy Miller and Drew Brees with a little pump fake back to the inside of Lance Briggs got him to freeze and then throw it to the outside to Billy Miller that was all Drew Brees that time
Breeze with plenty of time. Breeze, Pierre Thomas, Pierre Thomas reaching for the marker, and they're going to spot him just short at the 10. Corey Graham closed late. That's an interesting spot there. Can challenge a spot. Where was he when he went out of bounds and oh, did right. that ball go across the line? Hey, what, Chris? We're going to take a look right here. We'll get a good look. He's not out. That's a first down. His foot was in bounds as he reached out. And you can challenge a spot. Sure and can. Sean Payton, I think, is going to challenge again. He's already won one challenge. And he's going to challenge the spot. And that's a good challenge because Thomas's foot was in bounds. And as he extends the ball while he's going out of bounds, it looked like he had reached the marker. After review, we'll respot the ball and measure to see if it's a first down. Short. Inches short. Inches short. You going for it here, Chris? Oh, yeah. Fourth and inches for New Orleans. Breeze keeps it, and it looks like Breeze has it. It's close. But uh, as the headlinesman comes in where he has it spotted, it's a first down. Good job that time by Carl Nix, the rookie guard. He got hold of Lance Briggs, I think it was, and just blew him straight back. You know, Chris, really, as we take a look at Drew Brees. There you go. Picking the spot. Look at that for the young guy. They really like him. He, they say as a physical specimen, 350 pounds, he is something special. So first and goal for New Orleans. Brees. Intercepted. Breeze picked off for the second time. Huge play here in the third. And he had Robert Beecham wide open. I don't know what Drew Breeze was doing. I threw the ball a little bit lower than I wanted to, but you know, I just thought I'd kind of surprise him and just get it up over his head quickly. You know, a defensive end. I figured he'd be running trying to hit me so I could get up over his head really quickly and he got his hand up and you know, just one of those unlucky bounces. It was a missed assignment. Um, the assignment was Billy shouldn't have been blocking at all. <laughs> Billy's job was to was to leave immediately, and and then you see Buck Ortega running the drag, and so what you end up having is a, t a defensive end who's now in the way, and uh, and so it was a busted play. Matt Forte takes it up to the 20. Scott Fujita on the tackle. Second and six for Orton. Completes it to the 25 yard line to Greg Olson. It's about a yard short of the first down. Forte goes airborne and converts the third down. Orton to Forte. Got a first down up to the 40. Bobby McCrary on the tackle. Uh, and Randall Gay in coverage simply slipped and fell down. These Saints are having all kinds of problems once they get outside the numbers. Remember, they resotted between the numbers, but outside, just the simplest of routes are causing all kinds of problems for the secondary of the Saints. And that catch by Forte sets a bear rookie receiving record. 57 catches. Passing Mike Ditka's mark. Olsen fighting for yardage and giving forward progress right near midfield after Roman Harper turned the back. Orton with plenty of time, middle of the field, off the hands of Rasheed Davis, and Josh Bullocks has a much needed turnover. Bullock's into bear territory before he's tackled by Desmond Clark. Boy, Rasheed Davis just keeps dropping the ball, and that's a big one. First and 10 at the Bears, 45. Pierre Thomas hit by Anthony Adams after a gain of a couple. Lay handoff. Thomas with some room. Thomas a first down. There goes Pierre Thomas. 
And he gets in for the touchdown. 42 yards, and New Orleans right back in it. Forte in a one-back set. Orton will throw instead. Forte in the flat, knocked away nicely by Scott Shanley. On a second and 10, Forte hit by Vilma and dropped at the 35-yard line after a gain of two. Morton checks down. Olsen stops short of the markers. Good pursuit to the football by the Saints defense. Jason David got the first hit. And Chicago goes three and out. Thomas in a one back set. Thomas turns the corner. Tumbles up for a couple and that's it. Call it two on the play. Orton with plenty of time. Miller's got it first down. Got hit by Brown, but he's got the first down. And a first down for the Saints. Well, once again, on a third down situation, the Bears come up in a blitz look and then fall out of it. They really have not come after Drew Brees very much. You see Erlacher, you see Briggs in there in the A gap, and then they're just going to simply run out of it. Now it's just a zone route back across the Miller to Billy Miller and they pick it up. That's twice on third down now. On a third and five they hit Shockey for 11 and on third and eight they get Miller for 12. Yeah I'm not so sure I'm not dialing up a little more pressure. Breeze has success against the blitz but his protection hasn't been that good. Breeze to the outside. Colston makes the catch and then steps out. Tillman on the coverage. Picks up about almost nine on the play. On a first and ten, Breeze to throw. Checks down as Colston. Colston picks up nine on the play before he's tackled by Erlach. Henderson comes in motion. They give it to Thomas. Thomas has a first down inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. Interesting. They had two second and ones, and they ran it both times. You know, for a riverboat gambler kind of a guy like Sean Payton, that's the perfect scenario to try and dial one up deep. But I think he knows he has the Chicago Bears defense a bit on their heels right now, and he wants to keep them on the field. 25 runs to 35 passes for New Orleans tonight. Thomas, 16 carries, 87 yards. Saints averaging 4.8 yards a carry. First and 10 for Breeze to the sideline. Moore with a nifty catch. And he rolls out of bounds at the 29. And they are going to have their third straight second and one situation. And this is a dangerous play for a defense. You know, it really is because you always have the option now of trying something down the field. And if it doesn't work, then you can come back and try and pick it up. First and 10. Breeze with the pump fake, looks middle. He's got Thomas. Inside the 15, and another first down for New Orleans. Brian Erlacher that time in the classic Tampa 2 look is going to turn and run back out of there to try and fit the hole down the middle and take that pass away. Thomas just turns around. Erlacher has got his back to him running the opposite direction. They hit their last third and eight on the pass to Miller. Breeze. Timing off as Moore made the catch. And the Bears close fast. Orton on a first down will throw. Desmond Clark with the catch. Shanley on the coverage. Forte on second down. Gets about two. On a third and four for Chicago. Orton looking for Peterson on the wheel route can't get him Shanley had enough coverage to make it a tough throw Maynard's knocked 32 out inside the 20 oh, oh it's a fake. fake but the Saints have it covered he throws middle of the field and Peterson makes the catch no and dropped it it's picked up by New Orleans but it's going to be ruled incomplete by the back judge 
Waiting for the Bears to challenge the ruling on the field incomplete on the fake punt thrown by Brad Maynard to Adrian Peterson. Chris, did he have control all the way through to the ground? The ruling on the field is an incomplete pass being challenged by Chicago. Boy, here's the rule now. He has to make the catch, get two feet down before this hit happens, or he's considered going to the ground. And we all know by now that you have to maintain possession all the way through the end of the catch, all the way through going to the ground. I don't think that second foot was down before he took the hit. Okay, one foot's down, he takes the hit, the other foot's now, not down. Now he's going to the ground on his own, and he has to maintain possession all the way through the ground. I believe it's going to be Saints football. After review, the receiver did not have control when he came to the ground. The ball came loose in the process of making the catch. The ruling on the field is correct. Chicago's charge for the team's timeout. Take a look at it again right here. One foot down, second foot's in the air when contact is made by Moore. The key to the rule is did he complete the catch before he was contacted by the defender? We're two feet clearly down before this contact. They weren't. So therefore, he's considered going to the ground, and he must continue with possession of the ball after he hits the ground. The ball pops out. The pass is incomplete. Why the fake punt? Trying to win the game. That's why you always fake a punt. Trying to win the game. We thought there was a look that we uh, would get where uh, we would be in a better position to convert it. Didn't work out that way, but um, that's how it goes sometimes. Draw play to Thomas. Fights his way to about the 42-yard line. Second and five for Breeze and company. As Thomas in the flat, fighting off Roach and diving near the first down. Good extra effort by Pierre Thomas. They converted a fourth and inches. Carney with it, and he has stood up and stopped. Tommy Harris got the first hit and he is short. Boy, Chris, on the fourth and inches, they went with Breeze. This time they hand it off to the fullback. The exact same play they tried last week against the Atlanta Falcons. Exact same play. This time the Bears got penetration and were able to take them back. I think they actually may have lost a little bit of yardage, although the spot doesn't look like it. And Lance Briggs was also at the bottom of that pile. And I, I agree with you, Chris. I think they lost a little bit here. Yeah, but it, I tell you, whoever that was, and I just haven't been able to pick up a number yet, the defensive tackle on that play submarined and drove the Saints offensive line back into the backfield. Miller in motion. Toss to Thomas. Wow. Forget it. You gotta be kidding me. Why would you go wide against a team that's good going sideline to sideline? It was an outside toss play that we had run probably two or three other times earlier in the game effectively. Uh, we lost at the point of attack block, uh, which was the, the very first block on the defensive end. There's penetration on Billy's block. And once once you have penetration on that, when that happens on that play, it's it's over. From the 43, Orton dropped by Davis. Second and 10 for Chicago with 5.25 to go. Crazy sequence as the Bears try to fake punt. Peterson couldn't hold on to it. And then the Saints can't get a third in inches and a fourth in less than one. Orton intercepted by Scott Fujita. And New Orleans right back in business with 5.17 to go. Second pick by Orton and the Saints get another life. Well, here's the difference between Drew Brees and Kyle Orton. When Kyle Orton tries to go to a second look, he gets lost. Orton is going to go to his right and then try to come back left. Vegeta runs right underneath him. He never sees him, not for one second. Vegeta just read the eyes of Kyle Orton when he came back across the grain and makes a huge play for the Saints. 
second and ten for the Saints. Pierre Thomas gobbled up by Alex Brown. Loss of three. Alex Brown said not this time. They tried that same play where Jari Evans is going to pull out and try and kick out Alex Brown. And Alex Brown just simply beat him to the point where the Bears defense is coming up with some huge plays along their defensive line at this pivotal point in the game. This will be the fifth third and long for New Orleans nine or more yards third and 15. They're one for four. Breeze over the middle. Colston has it first down. Inside the 15 to the 14. Yep. You know, there's so many interesting things that go on during the course of a football game. That time, Alex Brown, who just made the play in the backfield, thought he read screen. He thought Pierre Thomas was going to come out on a screen and he went with him so consequently the pressure didn't get there double post pattern beautiful throw that time on the part of Drew Brees I mean Payne had pretty good coverage that was a perfect throw Pierre Thomas dragged down from behind by Danielle Manning and then Mark Anderson cleaned it up Breeze back Breeze to the end zone touchdown Marcus Colston and with 305 to go New Orleans has their first lead of the night and that has been the difference a surprising stand here by the defense with just seven up there for the Saints number Forte got hurt on the first carry of the game this time Orton finds Hester to midfield it's a gain of 20. Well, you're seeing a little bit of the maturation of Devin Hester on that one. He read the zone. He sat it down before he got the Jonathan Vilma and Orton was able to get it in there. Bears have two timeouts in the two minute warning blitz is on Orton throws it and knocked it away by Hollis Thomas again. Boy, pretty nimble for 335 pounds. Orton back underneath Forte dropped at the 45 yard line after a gain of five Vilma on the tackle with Randall Gay. We had a chance to talk to Robbie Gold the kicker on the field before the game kicking in this direction and he said he thought his range was about 52 yards in this direction and that's just about where they are now. Third and five. Orton takes the snap. Orton has Devin Hester with cushion and a first down. Orton with time. Orton over the middle. He's got Olsen to the 31. Robbie Gold has only attempted two field goals of 50 or more yards in his career last year. He missed both. His career long is 49 yards. His long this year, 48. Second and five for Orton. Orton. Olsen. First down. Well, now the strategy starts to change a little bit. You're definitely in field goal range at this point. You have timeouts remaining, and now you begin to play for the game winner. For Kyle Orton, though, hang on. Things start getting a little dicier. And you get down close to the red zone. Minute to go. Bears still have two timeouts. Horton three step drop again. Wow, what a catch by Brandon Lloyd at the 18. Brandon Lloyd has been known for extraordinary catches in his career, and he came up with one here. I don't think Usama Young could believe <laughs> that he came up with that catch. Second and four for Chicago. Orton again to Olsen. Tackled by Gay. They keep the clock moving. And now Chicago will call a timeout with 19 seconds to go. So third and one from the 16 for Chicago. A drive that started at their own 30. 
Orton to throw. Orton underneath. Olsen's got the first down, and then he gets out of bounds at the 10 yard line with 12 seconds to go. And that's important that he got out of bounds because, Chris, they didn't have to use the timeout. Yeah, and that was a good read by Kyle Orton that time. Had the double move on the outside by Brandon Lloyd. He wasn't there, and instead of trying to force that ball, he came down and picked up his first down. Gold loosening up. But will it be for a tie? Orton to throw. Orton corner of the end zone for Olsen. And it's incomplete. And there's a pretty lot close of contact. With Jason David, huh? Sure was. And Kyle Orton one and one too. Jason David knew he was in trouble out there against the bigger man. How's that, how's that not interfering? Oh. Chris, he's got his arm around him at first. He's grabbing his other arm. I don't know. And they give it to Forte. Forte for a hard six. Matt Forte was injured on the very first carry of the ball game. Injured his right foot, went back to the locker room. Had it taped up. He's come back in the ball game. Ten carries, 26 yards, and a touchdown. Give it to Forte again. Forte with a nice cut in the hole and dragged down by Will Smith, but he's got a first down to the 43. I really like the play calling now by Ron Turner. He had to go out, go no huddle, throw the football at the end of regulation, but now that he has time, he's come back here, again, the soft coverage, and he's handing the ball off and playing some power football. You have to think the Saints defense getting a little bit tired at this point. Adrian Peterson checks in a tailback and he'll take the carry. Takes it up to about the 46. Josh Bullocks on the tackle. Play fake. Orton back to throw. Has time. Looking deep. Devin Hester downfield. And Hester does not make the catch but a flag. Roman Harper going to get called for interference. The back judge said you grabbed his hand. Second time that Hester's drawn an interference penalty. And he's beating double coverage now. And the final foul, automatic. First down. What a great route that time by Devin Hester. Double coverage on him, inside, outside. Watch the little inside move. Freezes the safety. Roman Harper goes right by him. And then he does a nice job coming back through Harper to get the pass interference call. Now, that wasn't nearly as much contact as the one in the end zone, but it was the right call. He ran a great route, went up and uh, got to about 12 yards and stuttered the guy and the safety uh, settled his feet and, and that's all obviously Devin needs to get by him. And uh, a ball hung up in the air a little bit and, and he made a nice play to go up and, and go back after the ball and, and got the P.I. I got a, a quick stutter on him, got him to bite and ran past him and you know when the ball was in the air he kind of just tried to unfair and, and knocked the ball down and ran into me. All right now officially from 35 to win it here in overtime. For Robbie Gold. Maynard set. Snap is good. Kick on its way. And the Chicago Bears have defeated the New Orleans Saints 27 24 after surrendering a 21 7 lead. They get a field goal late in regulation and then take the first possession of overtime and drive it downfield for the winning.